back. Um, I've been gone for a minute. I know y'all probably been like, where have I been? Like, I'm always dropping off the face of the earth. But, honestly, um, I've been dealing with, like, a lot lately. Um, first thing I've been dealing with is I've been sick a lot. Um, for some reason, I've been getting a lot of infections. Um, what I had, like, a bladder infection. I had two tooth infections. I've had, I think, BV inf infection. I think that's what they call it, BV. Um, and my doctor doesn't, she doesn't really know why. I'm having so many infections but she said it's you know it's normal to have um infections while you're pregnant so as long as it's not life-threatening or anything like that she basically just give me antibiotics and send me on my way um and you know with infections come pain so i've been in a lot of pain um yeah so most of it has been because i've been sick the second reason why I've been gone is because I have been so busy. I've been busy with my daughter. I've been busy with work. Um, I'm starting a new business. I'll link all the information down below. Uh, so you can go check out my website. I just launched my own um, hair extension company. I really love it. Um, I'm having fun with it but I'll just link all that information down below so this won't be a super long video another reason why I've been gone is because we've been trying to move um, we found a house that we were gonna move into um, it was kind of like a, a rent to own type of deal where we could fix the house up the way we wanted to and then over time we will own it um, but when it came down to give the money and things like that the guy just basically stop answering his phone so now we have to find somewhere else to move in about four weeks four weeks is all we have to find another place and move so we've been busy trying to find places um and i've been busy oh my arm just got tired so this just went wopsided i'm sorry um i've been busy with work as well I started a new job in May and I've been doing overtime so that I could um, have enough money for when I go on my maternity leave because maternity leave with this job um, does not pay if that made any sense so I don't get maternity pay with this job look at my size y'all <laughs> like I have no idea why they stick out like but I have this on my hand because I'm um, trying to lock in moisture for my hair for the week. I have to do this every weekend. Wash my hair and moisturize it and put it up because if I don't, then my hair is going to be dry. That side won't go. But I don't know why these little sides are like sticking out. But anywho. So... We're going to get on to this pregnancy update. Um, at my 29-week appointment, the doctor, she told me, and I work with like a whole group of doctors, but she told me that um, they found protein in my urine, and I could, she wasn't 100% she wasn't sure, but she said that I could have preeclampsia, so when she told me that she wasn't really like worried about it she told me that um they would just do another urine sample when my next appointment which was thursday and um she was like if we find any more protein or the protein has built up then um you'll do a urine analysis for 24 hours so and that's pretty much what she said about it so I've been I was worrying myself sick I looked up what preeclampsia was um, I talked to other pregnant moms about it I talked to my mom about it and it really scared me like I don't know why if she think I have something like this that 
um, she would just be like, oh, we'll check on it in two weeks. Um, but good thing is, I went to my appointment Thursday at 31 weeks, and they didn't say anything about it. Um, I'm hoping that they did everything that they said they were going to do. The doctor, this um, other doctor, she was kind of rushing me, and I didn't like that. So, yeah, that's my pre your story real fast, quick and simple. Um, but this doctor did mention, because I had to do an ultrasound to see why baby was measuring three, almost four weeks ahead. And um, she said that he his, himself is measuring, like, on time. She was like, if there was a hundred babies lined up, your baby would be number 56. Um, in regard to, like, how he's measuring, which she was like, that's great. Um, but she said he did have a little bit more fluid around him than what he should. She was like, she was not that concerned with it, but she she wanted to do the another glue cloak Glue, oh gosh, glue close says to see um, if I may have diabetes. Now, I passed my um, first um, one, the one hour test where you drink the little syrupy drink. I passed that test, but she was like, even though you passed that test, that doesn't mean that you, you, you might not have it. So, let's test you again. And we'll find out your results in two weeks when you come back. They love pushing results off on the other doctors. But anywho, um, he is measuring four pounds. So he's right where he should be. Um, uh, I At this appointment, I had scheduled my C-section. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm having a C-section because of the hip replacement that I had. Um, I really thought about, you know, doing a VBAC because I had a C-section with my daughter as well. Um, I really thought about doing a VBAC. Um, we tried the position and it was just uncomfortable for me. And she was telling me that they would put way more weight on, um, on my leg and it to me it, it wasn't safe for me so that's why I, we opted for another c-section um, so his birthday is September 16th unless he decides that he wants a different birthday and comes early um, the cool thing about his birthday being September 16th is that his sister's birthday is July 16th so both of them um, will be born on the 16th day and I think that is so cool I don't know why I just think that that's so cool um let's see I'm trying to see if I didn't leave anything out uh, I do have a name for him however I don't think I will say his name until he's born I don't know why like I don't like telling people his name um, and, and I don't know why um, I was like that with my daughter I didn't tell nobody her name until she was born well close family knew her name and like my mom my sisters my brother well my brothers really don't care um, but his mom my boyfriend's mom um, all of them know the baby's name they knew my daughter's name before she was born and then after she was born, that's my total world, her name. So I think I'm going to do that with him. I think I'm going to keep his name to myself until he is born. I'm so excited to meet him. Um, I'm starting to have anxiety about um, meeting him. Not, no, well, not about meeting him. It's just knowing that I have... A little over seven weeks that's giving me anxiety because we have to move 
and then I have to get all of his stuff organized and I feel like I'm not ready um, even though I have everything I I do I have everything for him but I don't know I, I keep I just have anxiety really bad now I don't think I showed you guys him so I'm gonna show you guys these two pictures and if I just showed y'all these pictures I'm sorry my mind legit goes blank but this one is him with his eyes closed he is so adorable and my boyfriend is like how do you how can you tell what he looks like I'm like it's, it's not rocket science but he unfortunately can't tell what a baby looks like um but yeah and then this is him with his eyes kind of open and his nose is so cute and his little cheeks I cannot wait to hold him um, then I have another picture but it's just of his heart camera cut off for no reason um, but his heart rate has up until this point been between 150 and 156 um, at the last appointment, it was 147, and I'm thinking that maybe, I don't know why it dropped, but the nurse said it looks good, his heart looks good and healthy, um, so, yeah, I guess I would talk to you guys in my 33, 33 week update, and I promise I will film that video as soon as as I get out of the doctor's office because I forget a lot of stuff um, but anyway I'm gonna link I don't even think I told y'all this but I think I did tell y'all this I don't know but I started a business um, a couple of weeks ago been in love with it I'll link it all down below um, oh and I recently had about six or seven new subscribers i just want to thank you guys for subscribing to me and watching my videos and if you want to see a certain type of video just leave it below in the comments and for those of you who are not subscribed please subscribe and i thank you see you guys next time